Hey there music friends and welcome back for another reaction and analysis video. Today we're going to be listening to El Estepario Sibiriano again, George as everyone calls him, and he's going to be doing an Eminem cover called Godzilla. Don't forget to check out the description down below. I've got links down there where you can go and check out this original video along with places that you can go and buy his merch and support his channel and what he's doing. There's also going to be links down there where you can help support my channel. Things like channel membership, just a donation along with so many other things. Go and make sure you check out that description. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts on this music today down in the comments section. I can swallow up. Okay, I like what he's doing already. George is filling in that space in between all the bass drops in Eminem's God Godzilla. You know, you've got that dump, da da dum, dump, ba da ba dum. And George is filling in on his cymbals in between all of that. I like the way he's doing that. That is really cool. Let's back up and hear that again. Swallow up, bottle up, alcohol in a feel like Godzilla. Better hit the deck like the Right there, he's accenting the bass. There's where he's putting some things in between. If you haven't seen, I was really looking around there to see what unique things George set up because he sets up lots of unique things. He's got that extra snare that I've, I've seen in one of his videos where he's turned it upside down and he's actually playing his stick along the snares on the bottom head of the drum. And that's giving us kind of the gyro, the scraping kind of sound that you're hearing there. Um, I'm going to back this up a little bit so you can hear that again. Listen for that scraping sound. But it's that snare in the way, way back on his right. Oh, there goes the double bass. That is mind blowing. You know, uh, I think you saw that he pulled a, an extra stick out and now he's got two sticks in his right hand and he's got one above the symbol and one below and he's hitting on top and the bottom. But for him to be able to play that long and move his arm like that, that whole entire time, that's just mind blowing. His endurance is through the roof. I know he plays a lot during the day. And that's how you build up that kind of endurance. But I mean, most of us, I think our arms would have been burning. That was something different. I'm looking around because, you know, he he likes to fool me all the time on things I'm hearing and things I'm seeing. But I can see down on the uh, bottom right of the screen, I kept hearing almost like an extra snare, an extra something. And I looked down there and he actually has a snare drum down there. And he's got a pedal hooked up to it like a bass drum. And he's hitting that snare drum with the pedal. The guy just thinks up all these amazing things 
He's so creative in everything he does and his rhythms are so complicated, his patterns. He makes this all look easy, but most of us would sit down and cry if we saw what we were supposed to play because it would be just so hard for most of us to do. This guy's on a whole other planet, whole other planet. those feet go. I'm going to stop right there because, you know, we're going to a new section. But, you know, he also blows me away that he's not just being random. You see some people where they just stick a song on and they play whatever they feel like and they're just kind of improvising the whole thing. But you can tell that George has thought up this whole song because when we have the different sections in the song, he comes back to what he was originally playing in that song. So he has a structure to what he's doing here too. Even though he's made up these complicated rhythms, there is a structure. It's in song form. So it's not just random garbage that he's, he's throwing out there. You know, it's, it's thought out, it's planned, and he knows exactly what he's going to do. And it's mind-blowing that he has all of this stuff just memorized, that he's practiced it this much, that it's just part of muscle memory, and he knows exactly where he's going. There's no hesitation. He's right there where he's supposed to be. Giddy, cause I make bands and I call getting keys a cakewalk. Yeah. Bitch, I'm a player. I'm too motherfucking stingy for share. Won't even lend you an ear. Ain't even pretending to care. But I tell a bitch I'm Mary of Shabari, the face of my genital area. The original Richard Ramirez, Christian Rivera, cause my lyrics never sit well. So they want to give me the chance. Like a paraplegic and it's scary calling Harry Carey. Cause every time I'm digging Harry Carey and Mary a motherfucking dictionary on. Swearing up and down, they can spit this shit's hilarious. It's time to put these bitches in the obituary column. We wouldn't see eye to eye with a staring column. Get the shaft like a staring column. <laughs> Oh man, I really like what George did there. So if you listen to the way Eminem is rapping there, it's so rhythmic and it's got accents. George is literally playing what Eminem is singing there. He's getting all the accents in, he's getting all those syllables in, he's playing it, that's crazy. up a little bit that's mind-blowing George is literally just doubling everything he's doing he's just going so fast and it just fits and he makes those transitions in tempo and feel like it's nothing he, he just takes everything he's doing and he can just figure that out all in his head with no problem and just move ahead and just play it in time and make it sound sick he is a beast. He is a beast. He is slowly, in my mind, becoming one of the best drummers I've ever seen. Look at that. Look at the feet going, too.
what do you say after watching what that guy can do? What do you say? It is literally mind blowing. I, I, every video that everybody is suggesting for me to watch and listen to is literally just blowing my mind. Every new one that I see, there's something new, there's something different that he's doing. And it's just so good. It is so good. I, I can't even wrap my head around it all. You know, to be able to play the complicated patterns that he's playing. And like I said before, sometimes he's got, you know, duples, sometimes triples, and they go against each other. And there's just multiples of all those things because everything's based off of twos and threes. But he just finds a way to just mesh that all together to make it work, to make it sound good, to make it sound even more amazing because when you put stuff like that together, it just goes to a whole new level to a point where unless you're a superstar drummer yourself, you can't even comprehend what exactly he did. There's just so much going on there. And then not only does he do that, but I said that you can tell he's arranged what he's doing. He decided, okay, here's the beginning part of, you know, uh, Godzilla. And this is what I'm going to play here. And then he figures out that whole part. Then he goes, all right, this is the next section of Godzilla. This is what I'm going to play here. And as those parts come in and out throughout the song, he's playing those parts. So he's arranging and creating a song within the song that he's playing. That doesn't happen with everybody. You listen to some drum covers on YouTube and other places, and it's literally people just improvising. They're just playing some rhythms that they can play along with the music because they think it fits and it sounds good. But George is on a whole other level here with the way he's doing all of this stuff. And then on top of all of that, he put some unique things in. I've seen him put a tambourine on his hi-hat so that he gets the tambourine sound with the hi-hat. In this one today, we saw a snare drum that was flipped over so that it looked like it was a bass drum and he hooked up a bass drum pedal to it so we got that sound. We also saw that he flipped that one snare over and he was scraping on the snares on the bottom, which are just metal strands. That's what rattles and makes the snare drum sound. Without it, it's just a regular tom. It's just a smaller tom drum. You know, George is just one of those musicians that comes around every once in a while and you just got to hear him and you got to enjoy it. And he's changing everything about drumming. I'm sure there's some young kids out there. I know I've shown him to the kids in my band who are watching him and they're trying to copy him and they're going to become amazing drummers because they're seeing him and they're copying him and that's how it works. You know, when I was growing up, people wanted to be Neil Peart or Buddy Rich. And, you know, they were copying what they were doing. Now we've got people like George, El, El Estepario Sibriano. Um, it's amazing. All of these suggestions are incredible, and I thank you for it. Don't forget to check out that description down below. I have links down there for George's channel, this video all kinds of stuff. Go and check it out. Help support him. There's going to be links down there to help support my channel. Just things like donations like buy me a coffee, uh, channel membership, my merch store, Amazon. I'm an affiliate for Eargasm earplugs. You know, protect your hearing. It's really important that you do that. You know, some people don't realize how important it is, but it is. Make sure you go and do that. If you don't want to spend any money, something you can do that's totally free hit that subscribe button, click the like button, put a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Those are things that you can do that's totally free and it tells YouTube, get this out there so more people can see this video. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts on this music today down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this music today and you want to see more, especially if you want to see more of George and his amazing drumming, all you have to do is click on one of those videos you see on your screen that YouTube is suggesting to you. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.